the Sony WF-1000 XM4 earbuds, which is a mouthful of a name, sit towards the top of the earbuds market in terms of price and quality, but are they good enough to justify their $279 US dollar price? And why would you get them over the AirPods Pro or the new Sony Link Buds S? I'm going to answer all of those questions and I'll go into why these buds have become my favorite to use over the past six months. Now, the first thing that sets the Sony XM4 earbuds apart for me from other earbuds that I've used is their fit. Unlike other earbuds like the AirPods Pro and Beats Fit Pro that I've tried where part of their plastic housing sits closer into your ear canal, only the tip of the Sony XM4s goes into your ears, similar to the design philosophy Google has used in their Pixel Buds. This results in the Sony's being surprisingly comfortable to wear for in-ear buds. Now, even though these are in-ear earbuds, which means they create a seal in your ear canal, Sony has actually outfitted them in their design with a spatial vent, and that eliminates that plugged ear feeling you can get with other types of earbuds. Another thing that helps make these buds comfortable is their polyurethane foam material the noise isolation tips are made out of. And this helps give these buds the absolute best noise cancellation I've experienced on a pair of earbuds. In fact, they're comparable to over-the-ear headphones like my AirPods Max, Bose 700s, and even the new Sony XM5s. And to see our long-term reviews of those headphones, as well as our upcoming reviews of the WXM5s and Sony Link Buds S, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Now, over the past six months, I found myself picking up these earbuds over almost every other audio device I own because their noise cancellation is great and they've got a slim profile. And they're great for situations like going out on a walk, they'll cut out on traffic noise so I can still hear my music and podcasts. They also have wind noise detection, which hasn't been perfect, but it does seem to keep the wind noise to a minimum when noise cancellation is enabled. Also, these buds feature a transparency mode, which you can just tap to enable, and the buds will use their external microphones to pump in sound from your surrounding environment so you can hear what's going on around you. Now, it's not the best transparency mode I've ever used, like on the AirPods Max, but it's still pretty good. And the mic quality on these buds, by the way, I would say they're about uh, maybe a little bit above average, but they're not the best for phone calls that I've ever used, but it'll still get you by. Now, the next feature I absolutely love about these buds is their sound quality. It's excellent. The XM4s have six millimeter custom drivers, which gives them great bass clarity, and overall, they have one of the best sound profiles of any buds I've tried. They also support Sony's LDAC codec, which gets you higher quality audio over Bluetooth. LDAC is supported on many Android devices, but if you have an iPhone, you're out of luck and stuck with just the AAC codec. Another great use case I found for these buds is actually while cooking, and I think this has probably become my number one use case for them. Because their noise cancellation is so good, it still allows me to fully listen to music or a podcast while I'm cooking and making noise like banging pots around or sizzling meat or vegetables on a skillet, etc. And they come with an IPX4 water resistance rating, so if you get a few splashes on them while cooking or if you wear them in the rain, you should be fine. Now, another scenario I use these buds for a lot is when I podcast and clean. And again, this is due to the noise cancellation, but it's also due to their slim profile with your ears. Unlike over-the-ear headphones, when you wear something like the AirPods Max or Sony WXM5s, I'm always worried about when I'm cleaning that I'm going to bang them into something and nick part of the headphone. With these earbuds, because they're so slim, you don't have to worry about that at all when you're cleaning around the home. Now, the next feature I've really enjoyed about these earbuds that has been great is their multi-tap gestures. The earbuds have a touch surface that can register a single, double, or triple tap, plus a long press, which is something most other buds I've tried just can't do, except for maybe the Pixel Buds. You can customize what you want each tap to register as in the Sony app. I have mine set up so you tap once for play pause, twice for skip forward, and three times for skip back, and a long press for the phone assistant on the right bud, and then I've set up the left bud to control the noise cancellation. So one tap for noise cancellation, and then another tap for transparency mode. The Sony app, it's a bit weird, but overall it does allow you to do what you want. 
The weird thing about it is they stuck in a badge system to try to reward you for using the product more, which is stupid. You know what will make people want to use a product more? You make a good f***ing product that people want to use. Lucky enough for Sony, they did that with these. Another issue a lot of people run into with buds in general is with their connection. With these buds, I haven't had any issues with their connection with the many devices I've tested them with and their range has been very good. I can have music playing on my phone a few rooms away and still listen to everything on these buds without any cutouts. When the buds finally need a charge, their case has wireless charging built in, which I've found convenient, and they also have USB-C. I've never run out of battery while listening to these and they're rated for 8 hours of battery and the charge in the case will get you up to another 16 hours. They also support quick charging so 5 minutes of charge will get you 60 minutes of listening time if you're in a bind. The battery case makes it very easy to tell when they need to charge because the LED light at the front will glow amber when you take the buds out of the case and it'll remain in amber color after you close the case. The only thing I think this case is missing is a button to press for Bluetooth pairing like the new Sony Link Buds S case has. To Bluetooth pair the earbuds, you need to put them in your ears and then press and hold both buds until you hear an announcement that you've entered Bluetooth pairing mode. In terms of size, the case is smaller than previous generations of Sony's buds and comes in a better shape in my opinion. Though it's still a bit larger than an AirPods case, it's still small enough to fit in my pants inner pocket comfortably, so I haven't had any qualms about the size. Now speaking of AirPods, let's talk about why I think you would go with the Sony Buds over Apple's noise cancelling AirPods, the AirPods Pro. I think you would go with the XM4s over the AirPods Pro if you want buds that have better noise cancellation, a more comfortable fit, a longer battery life, and because they come in both black and silver where the AirPods only come in one color. Now the Sonys are missing a few features that AirPods get you as an Apple user, mainly automatic switching between Apple devices, better mic quality, and spatial audio. Now if you're an Android user, I think these are a no-brainer if you want a solid pair of noise cancelling earbuds with some of the best noise cancellation you can probably get in a pair of earbuds right now. The buds also support Google's one-tap fast pair and overall they've worked great on my Samsung and Pixel phones, plus with Android you get LDAC quality streaming. The main question I think for Android users with these buds is why would you go with them over the Sony Link Buds S? The Link Buds S recently came out at one 199 US dollars and have noise cancellation which isn't as good as the XM4s, a shorter battery life, slightly worse audio quality, and no case with wireless charging. But they're $80 cheaper and are generally more comfortable to wear thanks to their slimmer profile. I certainly think these are going to be tempting for those who don't need or want the absolute best noise cancellation in a set of earbuds like the XM4s and would rather save 80 US dollars. Next, let's talk issues. After six months of using these earbuds, the only issue I ever ran into is when I had them in and I turned transparency mode on, occasionally the transparency mode would just turn off without any input from me. I think this is likely due to Sony's adaptive sound control feature switching between the walking and sit still settings, and turning that setting off fixed the issue. Generally, I've been impressed with the sound controls feature and it can be useful to pump in more ambient noise from the outside world when I go on a walk, versus when the buds detect I'm just sitting down. And you can also take this feature one step further by enabling location tracking so the Sony app can learn your sound preferences based on your location. But overall, since I basically work from home and just walk in the surrounding area, I haven't really utilized that feature. So that's everything I've liked and disliked about the Sony WF-1000XM4s. Now let's talk recommendations. Are they worth the $279 price that they retail for? Well, to me, they are absolutely the best earbuds I have used in terms of noise cancellation, sound quality, and they have a fantastic 8-hour battery life. So to me, yes, they have absolutely been worth that price. However, given Sony has recently released the Link Buds S, I think a lot of people may go for those instead. Now, I've only had the Link Buds S for about a week now, so I can't give you a definitive opinion yet on whether or not I think it's fine to go with these over the XM4s, or the XM4s are definitely worth that extra 80 US dollars. But I'll be sure to do that in the full review of the Link Buds S, so make sure you subscribe to the channel in order to see that video. 
If you're interested in purchasing the Sony XM4s or the Link Buds S, I've left purchase links that you can click on here in this video and in the description below. If you have any further questions about the WF-1000 XM4s, leave them in a comment below and hit that thumbs up button if you liked this video and found it helpful. And if you're looking for what to watch next, check out some of our other reviews on audio products like the Bose 700s, Apple AirPods Max, Google Nest Audio, and Amazon Echo. All of those reviews are linked in the description below. For Six Months Later, I'm Josh Tedder. Thanks for watching.